HMS Defender came out of the dry dock in Portsmouth last week as the project to upgrade her missile systems continues. HMS Defender is a state-of-the-art destroyer whose main objective is to defend the UK's carrier strike group from air attack. The Defender has exemplified exceptional availability among all Type 45 destroyers operating across the globe. HMS Defender has amassed a list of accomplishments since embarking on its maiden voyage from Glasgow over a decade ago. The vessel has traversed the equivalent of 12 circumnavigations of the globe, navigating every major ocean except the Antarctic. Defender became the first Type 45 destroyer to undertake winter operations deep within the Arctic Circle. The HMS Defender traveled more than 300,000 nautical miles. Such achievements demonstrate the vessel's dedication to maritime security and protecting international waters. Work is now underway to add a new vertical launch silo to the first Royal Navy Type 45 air defense destroyer. To receive the MBDA Common Anti-Air Missile CAMM as part of the ship's Sea Viper Anti-Air Guided Weapon System. Pictures taken of HMS Defender in Portsmouth's Three Basin on the evening of 6 December show tentage erected over the area where the CAMM missile canisters will be housed. Defender, which is midway through a major propulsion upgrade and refit package, had been moved from 14 dock to Three Basin's 8 berth on the morning of 4 December. MBDA UK was in March 2021 awarded a demonstration and manufacture contract for the Sea Viper CAMM implementation by Defence Equipment and Support. The CAMM missile already forms part of the GWS 35C Scepter Local Area Anti-Air Guided Weapon System fitted to the Royal Navy's Type 23 frigates and slated for the new Type 26 and Type 31 frigates. The Sea Viper CAMM upgrade will allow the Type 45 to maintain a high degree of commonality and reuse with the Sea Scepter systems installed on Royal Navy frigates and exploit the UK's existing CAMM missile stockpile. Functioning as a complement to the medium-range Aster 30 missile, CAMM will replace the current Aster 15 short-range missile in the Sea Viper system to provide inner-layer anti-air defense and also offer a capability against fast inshore attack craft. As this photograph of Defender shows, the new 24 missile silo for CAMM is being installed in the deck area forward of the existing 48 cell silver vertical launcher silo. As well as increasing overall missile capacity by 50%, the dedicated CAMM silo means that all silver launch cells on the Type 45 can now be used solely for longer range Aster 30 family missiles. The current Sea Viper command and control system will also receive a technology upgrade as well as an uplift in processing power. The existing threat evaluation and weapon assignment software functionality will be adapted so that the system can optimize the engagement plan for the specific threat scenario. HMS Defender began a complex £68 million upkeep, engine replacement and weapons upgrade project in July 2023. She was taken into No. 15 Dry Dock in Portsmouth, the hull was cut open and three new diesel generators inserted as the key work on the power improvement project. Ultimately, the PIP project aims to achieve four out of six Type 45s available by the end of 2025. Although this is subject to the very challenging project to regenerate HMS Daring. The long period of dormancy, about nine years without going to sea operationally, makes it much more difficult to bring the ship back into working condition. Concurrently with PIP, Defender is also undergoing a major upkeep period, the ship has previously been run hard since her last major refit lasting 18 months completed in 2018. HMS Defender is also in a capability insertion period. As the first of the Type 45s to be fitted with Sea Scepter missiles housed in a separate 24-cell silo that will be added in front of the existing Silver VLS silo. The additional silo is being manufactured separately ashore and will be lifted on to be embodied in the ship. She will also be fitted with the Naval Strike Missile, replacing the obsolete Harpoon anti-ship missile system as well as giving the Type 45s a modest land attack capability for the first time. Defender is expected to return to the fleet in the summer of 2026. In October HMS Diamond began the same PIP keep weapon upgrade as HMS Defender, but a higher level of capability insertion is required as she missed a refit a few years ago. 
she had an unplanned motor replacement that resulted in planned work being deferred. Diamond will shortly enter the dry dock vacated by Defender. The Type 45s are also set to benefit from the Sea Viper Evolution program which will equip them with anti-medium range ballistic missile capable Aster 30 Block 1 missiles. Upgrades to the Samson Radar, Sea Viper Command and Control Systems. IOC for SVE is February 2028 with Diamond the first vessel to be equipped. The Royal Navy's HMS Defender, a stalwart destroyer, has concluded its first chapter and is now set to undergo a two-year refit. HMS Defender is a state-of-the-art destroyer whose main objective is to defend the UK's carrier strike group from air attack. After a 10-year tenure characterized by tireless service, the Royal Navy's destroyer, HMS Defender, has returned to its home port of Portsmouth. Concluding a chapter in its history. Defender's arrival heralds the beginning of an extensive two-year refit, a process that will revitalize the ship and elevate its capabilities for future operations. As an asset in joint operations with Allied forces, HMS Defender has been at the forefront of numerous international initiatives. In the past year alone, the destroyer completed four operations and participated in four exercises. Notably, it escorted the UK's first carrier global task force deployment in 2021. Commander Peter Evans, the commanding officer of HMS Defender, reflected on the ship's service, we are commemorating a bittersweet milestone, marking an incredible 10 years of frontline duty. The Defender has exemplified exceptional availability among all Type 45 destroyers operating across the globe. Defender is scheduled to complete its upgrade before the end of 2026. All six ships of the class are planned to have received the Sea Viper CAMM installation by the end of 2032. The Royal Navy spokeswoman said the project is progressing well and will be available to use when HMS Defender returns into service. She added that the upgrades will make HMS Defender capable against all known threats she could encounter on future tasking.